Goes, I'm your worst nightmare. You're going to take me where I want to go. Only on CBS 2 News at 6, a rideshare nightmare for a Lyft driver who picked up a fare from a hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. That driver says he was attacked when the passenger demanded to be taken somewhere else. And CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live in Whittier with more of that video and the scary account from the driver. Joy. That's right, Pat. I mean, it is not unusual for rideshare drivers to pick up at a hospital. It's usually just a sick patient who needs a ride home. But one Lyft driver tells me that it was a pickup from this particular hospital here behind me in Whittier that ended with a violent attack. It was a ride that turned violent as employees at this gas station moved fast to keep this passenger outside and help the Lyft driver. You hit me about probably a total of 10 times during this uh, ride. Tom Lansford got the assignment Monday night on the Lyft app to pick up someone named Raul from Whittier Hospital. There were two orderlies with them, and it's one of those rides where they say, only take the person to where we tell you to go. Don't alter from that. But Lansford said as soon as the passenger got in the car, he started demanding things, including a ride to a different location. He goes, I'm your worst nightmare. You're going to take me where I want to go. When Lansford tried to explain he couldn't because the ride was paid for by someone else, things got violent. He hit me on my shoulder pretty hard on the shoulder from the back seat. I just tell him, hey, please calm down. I mean, I'm just doing my job. I'm, I'm 68, you know, why are you hitting me? This quick thinking driver whipped into the thrifty gas station in La Puente, grabbed the keys and ran inside. All the stuff, he just threw it. That's when he says the man kicked open his door and ransacked his car. Employees at the station called 911 and kept the man who appeared unstable outside. Sheriff's deputies eventually went looking for the passenger, but Lansford says his frustration is with the hospital. They knew this guy had problems. They should have got the right type of transportation for him. A hospital spokesperson says they do have a contract with Lyft and frequently order rides as a courtesy for patients. They are looking into this incident. I really think there should be some kind of um, accountability for the hospital for instead of just pawn, pawning off a guy like this on an unsuspecting driver. If I would have been a young woman Lyft driver, it could have been a whole lot different. And although Lansford was able to clean up his car and fix the door, he says he can't help but fear what could have been had he not found a gas station full of employees willing to help. I don't know what he would have done if I would have got to the destination he wanted to go to. Certainly a tough story, but it is important to mention that we don't know who actually ordered that lift ride for that particular passenger. That kind of information is kept private um, from the driver for privacy reasons. And it's also important to mention that we don't know if there's any reason to believe that anyone in this hospital knew that this particular person getting the ride would do anything like this. Pat. All right. Thanks so much, Joy.